Ang video na to ay handog ni cdkoffers.com. Marami kang mahahanap na iba't ibang uri ng software dito. May games, apps, activation codes for Windows 10. Check out our video on CDK Offers in the video description. Mabilis, mura, and syempre legit dito. Madali lang mag-order, search for the software you need, add to cart, check out, daan ka sa payment options nila, wala pa isang minuto, finished. May legit working CDK ka na sa software na pinili mo. Gamitin ang aming promo code para makakuha pa ng extra 20% discount sa purchase mo. Kung naghanap ka ng mura, legit, and original software, check out cdkoffers.com. Oh wait, I think RJ is joining us now. Alright, what's up internet? So, another episode of Pwede Magtanong. Uh, we're just trying to get the... Oh nga, parang... Sasali na si RJ, but um, we can go ahead. Let's just uh, start with the questions. Uh, first question. Sir, how can I add additional fans if yes. yung socket... Hi, RJ. Oh, yeah. Let me just nice. fix... Yeah, let me just fix the picture. Uh, but while I'm doing that, let's just answer. Sorry, sorry. How to add additional fans if yung socket for case, uh, one fan lang, basically. So, um, uh, I'll take first crack. Uh, so I think you pretty much have two options. You can uh, use one of your Molex adapt. You you can use one of your Molex adapters. Uh, but the thing there is, you won't be able to control the speed of your fans. Or the other one is to uh, buy a fan hub. I think that's an option for internal use. Yes, uh, actually, we sell a lot of fan hubs to hardware sugar. Except um, sold out. Yeah, except now na sold out. Oh, but parang may usually it's the deep cool FH04 which has four ports, and then the FH10 which has uh ten ports. So yeah, that's a um that that's a usually a, a good ano solution. There's also a cooler master fan hub, di ba? The smaller one. Yeah, uh the cooler master. No, I think uh Fantex meron. Ah, that one. Yeah. Um, anyone else wanna chime in on fixing the oh. RJ? What about you? Or how to add additional fans? How to add additional fans? Um, yeah, as as Marvin mentioned, you can add the Molex. Um, you can um, no, you can buy them by singles. Um, by packs of two or three, and um, it also depends. Uh, how many? How many um slots you have for the for the connectors for the headers uh in your motherboard or so if if that's a problem then we go to the root of um rocky and of hardware sugar hmm. where you can buy um hmm. multiple um base uh, you know, like a three in one a, a five in one um solution. What is the difference between that and daisy chaining? As lots of people like to ask on Facebook. Hmm. When you daisy chain, uh, if you daisy chain it to the Molex, your fans will run at two speeds, off and full blast. If you daisy, right. Can you daisy chain it with the fan controller? Is it possible? I've never tried. But basically, you're saying walang PWM function kung ano. Yes. Kung naka daisy, kung naka chain to molex. Yes. Um actually another solution na uh, medyo unorthodox, yung some motherboards have um the fan headers, some also have the um, for the pump, yung um, water cooling pump. So actually you can use those headers also for the fans. They're basically just the same headers as the fans. Uh, I had to research for one build. So you... It's on the mobile or it's on the AIO? Yeah, so it's on the mobile. Um, it's usually uh, for depending on the mobile. Yes. Uh uh Okay, docs. Um, we're all good with the video. Um, yeah. So basically, you can uh add headers using uh fan hubs. So we usually carry the deep cool, but lots of brands have different fan hubs available. I actually saw one very recently sent by a friend na yun molex siya tapos just barang bare bones wala man lang case or anything but you know it gets the job done so there are a lot of um 
cheap or you know affordable options on the market for that to add additional fans. Ah, uh, pero magkaiba pa yun dun sa RGB. So you need to worry about uh, RGB and ARGB. Ah, uh, yeah, like the power of the fans and then how to control the lights and things like that. But uh, good question. Lots of people want to add additional fans. Next question. Ah, this one he was using the Corsair VS550 for a really long time, and then he upgraded to an R7 RTX 2060. Ah, uh, and then today he learned na medyo kulang pala yung VS550. This is actually in relation to our YouTube video regarding like the different Corsair power supply types. Um. So just like your thoughts on how long this will last. <laughs> so naka VS550. VS is like the really cheapest, like it's the lowest tier of Corsair, and then it's old na, and then may, and then now it's powering an R7 plus an RTX 2060 pa. Uh, 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 VS450? 550. 550. 550. I think the 550 will definitely um survive uh quite a while, but. I do have five some... years now, Five years, yeah. I've, that's, that's not, pretty... None of my PSUs have lasted longer than four. Right. I was gonna say that also. Um, I did have a, I did some experience with um VS the VS series, and um, yeah, I think it it can either last like for me, and you might you guys might not agree as as well, but then like, uh. A power supply either um it's either on or off so it yeah. either survives or yeah. goes all the way um there's there's it, it's not it's not forgiving it it's it's basically meant to give you power so um if there's something wrong you'll feel it right away um and there are too many factors to, to say that if it'll if it'll last a while or not but the for the entry level it's pretty good the vs series for for my experience, uh, actually, uh, I I've had the Corsair power supply that was bought in 2010, so it's still alive now. Uh, so that's roughly 10 years. Uh, anong ano Marv? 80 plus uh, uh, silver, 80 plus, gold, gold, 80 gold. plus uh, CM or mm. CX. Okay, yeah. yeah. So the mid range of Corsair. Uh, but I do suspect that some of the SATA power connectors might be uh, deteriorating, which is causing the hard drive problems. So, which actually brings me back to your question, ni Alfred. Um, the problem with the VS550 is that uh, it only has one, uh, to simplify it as much as I could understand it, it only has one type of controller. It controls the 12 volt and the uh, 5 volt rails of the power supply all in one go so the 12 volts powers your uh, motherboard pretty much everything your gpu etc and then the 5 volts uh that, that's for your hard disks so whenever your system says that hey the, the rtx 2060 needs power the 12 volts will go full blast the problem is sasama si 5 volts um since hindi the way I understood it, since the power supply is too busy focusing on keeping the 12 volt stable, the 5 volts hindi niya So it's possible that it could be fluctuating. So, ang matatama anjan is yung hard drives mo una. Yun muna yung may kita mo. So you might want to check yung health ng hard drives mo. And if you really can't uh, follow the suggestion of hardware sugar that you replace it now, uh, start backing up your data. So just in case yung sinabi ng RJ, if it dies, uh, you're prepared. Team, hindi, at least data mo safe, di ba? Yeah lang. Actually, some of the lower end PSUs, uh, it's the 12-volt rail, the 5-volt rail, but actually they just draw the power of the 5-volt from the 12-volt. Hindi sila independent rails. Uh, that's mostly mm. in the cheaper PSUs. So yun nga, there's a lot of... Um, uh, yeah, it's trying to draw power from the 12 volt, but the 12 volt is busy, and so a, a lot of stuff like that happens in the sort of uh, lower tier PSUs. Um, John Manalo from Facebook asks, any tips on how to make a static-free workstation when building a computer? Um, the free way is just to ground yourself, like you touch anything metal, and that rids you of your static. But have you guys tried any other 
uh, solutions? Like the straps? Personally, no. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's all I do. Yeah. Um, you, you touch the top part or the back part of your um, casing for a few seconds. Just the metal, yeah. Mm. Uh, yung ano, parang, yeah. So, ang recommended is since uh, I have an all steel case, I used to touch it everywhere. But uh, <laughs> it, it was recommended that you touch the power supply. And then I saw somewhere that the power supply should be connected to the socket. For it, th- for it to ground you. To... to be more effective. Um, One person... Who did I see? I, I saw a recent famous YouTuber say this na... Touch the... Ano, touch your uh, sink. Your, your, yung faucet mo sa sink. Be, be sure it's dry. Because definitely... It's made of metal. The pipes, if they're metal, will really ground all the way to earth to remove the static. Ah, they they sell these straps. It's it's more common abroad. Yung ESD electrostatic something straps. Na, I I don't understand actually. You just wear the strap and then okay ka na. Like you're basically <laughs> static free. How? Ano bang ano na? You have to I think, it to metal. No, I I think I know what you're talking about. You're talking about the verge. The one they criticized the Verge guy who assembled the PC and he wore it, and then everyone started making fun of him. Uh, how are you supposed to wear? Because I've never used the straps. Because I always, gusto ko libre. Hinahawakan ko lang yung metal dun sa case. I've never, I've never done the straps. Uh, uh, I've, I, I I've only heard of the straps being mentioned in a negative way because kalakohan daw. Uh, I always thought that was like a legit way to ground yourself. Pero... I'll, I'll, I'll rewatch it. Uh, but re- I do remember the Jesus straps. Uses it. <laughs> ah, yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 <laughs> that guy knows. Steve knows what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, just for added information to the audience, na you want to ground yourself or tanggalin mo yung static electricity, because static's very bad for the components of your computer, especially yung mga exposed like your memory, the motherboard. Um. Although, at the same time, never. I mean, how, paminsan, you know, lumaning RAM and I'm holding it just, just my own, not customers. Parang okay naman. Uh, so I don't really know how bad this is in our settings sa Pilipinas. Baka mas maraming static sa abroad. I mean, just because of the temperate climate and you're in oh, a right, right, you're in a right. rug. I mean, a lot of the rooms are may ano, wall-to-wall carpeting. Yun, magkaka... Talagang may friction, may static. But here sa atin... I don't know how uh, prevalent it is. I've never actually met someone na, oh, nasira mubo ko, nasira RAM ko kasi nahawakan ko, tas naka-static. But anyway, um, Oscar from YouTube says, mahina audio ni Marvin. Hashtag FYI. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next question. Really? Uh, yeah, I thought Marvin sounded okay. We, we can't all sound like RJ, eh, na ano? <laughs> Pang radio Let voice. me fix that. Thank you. Uh, 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 actually, okay na rin kayo, Marvin. Okay. Next question. Yeah. 8 plus 4 fin... 8 plus 4 pin kasi yung mobo niya and may 8 pin lang po ako from PSU 4 plus 4 hindi naman daw siya mag overclock so basically is it okay that he just uses the 8 pin and he leaves the 4 pin blank um, can he use the 4 plus 4 pin to the mobo's 8 pin or does he need to buy a whole new PSU so that he can get the 8 plus 4 um, actually I had to research to answer this guy and the 4 plus 4 or for the 8 pin on the mobo that's completely okay you don't need to plug in the extra 4 Pala hindi naman kailangan 12 kung di ka naman mag-extreme overclocking. So the 8, the 4 plus 4 standard na 8 pin for the MOBO is uh, perfectly okay and you'll get very decent performance. Di mo na kailangan. Yun, basically, kailangan mo lang problemahin kung talaga mag, yung balak mo mag-overclock ng todo. Um, uh, anybody else want to jump in with this? or I just I just want to agree. Um, recently, maybe a couple of months ago, a friend... Um... Raf. Oh, um, I think uh, the did, did he shop with us also? Raf is uh, Raff actually is, buying Raffi Meister. Oh, ah, Mika, Raff, ah, Mika oh, fa- that Raf. Oh, okay, sorry. Oh, no, no, it's, it's a different Raf. Ah, okay. Raff. Sige, sige. Sorry, oh, sorry. Raff. Okay. Yeah, so he he also assembled a PC thirty six hundred new B five fifty, and then he was wondering how come his his temps were so high and when he tried to overclock simply. And then after a while, he just, he did realize that he had a he only had a four pin for an eight pin slot ah. on, the, on the motherboard. So yes, it does it does affect it that way. 
Vince from Facebook asks, pwede po ba mag-install ng brand new processor kahit walang thermal compound na ilagay? This is actually a popular question. We've been seeing this a lot. Uh, does anybody want to comment on this? <laughs> uh, it will run up to desktop mode. And anything further than that, from my experience, if you open up a program and it overheats past 100, it will shut down. So it will work up to that point. But let's let's try not to go there. And basically, your PC is useless, de right? boot up ka, but you, you can't <laughs> yes, do yes. yeah, can't do anything else. Maybe we should explain the science behind what thermal paste does. Because a thermal paste, because you have the CPU, it's that it's that square thing. Afterwards, when you place it inside the cooler, whether it's the stock cooler or your AIO or whatever, it attaches to a metal plate. But if you don't put the thermal paste, the heat from generated by the CPU will never transfer to the metal plate, in which case that metal plate connects to the fan. So there's no heat entering that AIO or liquid cooler. What transfers the heat from the processor to the metal plate and then there to the fan is actually the thermal paste. It's the binder which connects the um, hardware and then the heat of the hardware to another kind of hardware. So that is the science of why we need thermal, uh, thermal paste. So use thermal paste. <laughs> yeah, bottom line. Uh, <laughs> basically, it's a, it's a conductor. Parang it's, it's the medium by which the heat is transferred from the CPU up to the radiators of the CPU cooler, and then the fan of the CPU cooler expels the heat. But yeah, you please actually kahit murang thermal paste. Um, you, there's some there's some cheap ones on the market, hundred pesos, one fifty. Uh, pero yeah, but for for a shop if they can give you. Free. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so most. You know, yeah. you know, uh, sachet lang. <laughs> parang toothpaste na ano, de ba? Parang ano? Yep. Right. <laughs> Next question. Uh. Miguel asks, is it possible to reuse old boot drives? Let's say, for example, yung SSD mo may Windows 10 for new builds. I think so we've mean... answered this already by... A little bit? Uh, we By then cloning old boot drives. Oh, so you mean he, he just wants to use the same exact one I... from his old... I, I just shove it in the, the, yeah, the new CPU. I, I think that's the use case. Oh, parang yan yung inisip niya. Uh -oh. I think it'll um it'll have errors, definitely from my experience. Um, it's gonna try to look for so if you have let's say a B550, and then you you slap your um new hard drive into a X570. So motherboard palang a motherboard change without uninstalling or a proper um, clothing will already give you um, a lot of potential errors. Uh, so from booting, from booting to um, any other issues uh, when, while it's running. So um, that's why ideally you start either fresh or you, you clone. Arf? Yeah. In addition, if, you're, if your new build is sufficiently different from your old build, I, I I forget how what how sensitive Windows 10 is. Uh, maybe hanga mod. I think motherboard the lang yata yung trigger. If you install, if you use your old boot drive and you ch you had changed your motherboard, uh, it will ask you to reactivate it because yeah. it's detecting an entirely different machine. It thinks na well, totoo nga naman. Um, it's it it is a new build. Basically, kinuha mo luma and then pasok sa ano. Uh, um. So ideally, yun nga, wipe everything and just start from a fresh build, fr fr from a fresh install of Win 10. Parang that's um, that's the recommended solution. Um, although I do get na nakakatamad kasi yung reinstall it mm. ng Windows, parang ganon. So parang it's tempting lang na tanggalin, tapos pasok sa bago. But that's really not the best option usually. Alfred from Facebook asks, RJ, how to have your mustache? <laughs> um... Just don't shave. <laughs> <laughs> Get so busy you forget about it. <laughs> I know what that's like. Bigla na lang nandiyan eh. Oh, sorry. Wala nang oras para mag-shave bago mag-hardware sugar. You see that the, 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 the hair in between your the, the center? Not everybody has the genes to fill that in. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ang bagal na nga to in some standards eh. <laughs> Next question from Red Poggy. He asks, um, actually, it's a very detailed question and in fairness to him, I mean, we, we do encourage when you ask to be as detailed as possible because it's hard to diagnose kung kulang kulang information. But basically, it's a whole rig and his, um, CP, his power supply is a Corsair CV450. So that's just a step above the VS series. Um, pero nung pinapa pinapa assemble niya dun sa isang shop hindi sa atin, uh, he was going to put six pieces of fans na id cooling. So sabi sa kanya nung shop na because yung six fans sobrang lakas ng power consumption, kailangan niya daw i-upgrade yung 450 watt PSU to a 650 watt. And so he's asking to toba bayon. <laughs> May point ba po ba yung nag assemble Kasi mukhang hindi naman sila maalam sa PC masyado. Um, and he wasn't very satisfied with the way they were assembling it. But from a 450 watt to a 650 watt, just because he has six fans. Well, I'll just jump off and say... Uh, when in doubt, just use PC parts picker. If you put in all your parts there, the voltage output shows up on the upper right. So, I mean, that's number one. You know, you can also self-help yourself right then and there. PC parts picker. Actually, I researched ano ba yung average watt consumption ng isang fan. Not just, I mean, just average fan. Let's say not even RGB. And so it's like 1.8 watts. So let's say, let's bump it up to 2 watts times 6, 12 watts. It doesn't really make a... Uh, I mean, it's a fan, man. It can't. It doesn't really um, use up a so lot of need, power. You need essentially ninety fans in order to reach an an extra hundred watts. Is that what you're saying? Well, you do Put need a context. you need a shitload of fans, you? man. <laughs> you need like so yeah. yeah either if you're worried about six fans, and you know it plugging it's plugging away at your power supply. Oh. You need one. So one fan is one watt. Ganun na lang. Ayan, isipin mo na lang yan. Or if you want, one fan is 2 watts. Oh, 2 watts. I mean, so you know, it's it's very doubtful to me na you'd need to upgrade from a 450 watts to a 650 watts just because na just because of the 6 additional case fans. But let, let's give the shop the benefit of the doubt. The only instance where he might need to upgrade to a more uh, higher tier of power supply is if the shop uh, doesn't like daisy chaining and this guy has like a shitload of uh, hard disks. So baka mamaya, yung sa CV450, naubos na yung molex niya, naubos na yung SATA, for some reason whatsoever, whatever. <laughs> na, but I don't, I'm not really sure if when you go up to from 450 to 650 kung significant yung dagdag na power cables. But maybe yun, baka punong-puno na talaga yung Power cable and ayaw nilang mag DC chaining or whatever. Pwede. Aesthetic. Yun nga, get, get a fan hub. Okay ka na. The fan hub usually just connects to a SATA kung yung deep cool or pamitan nga yung molex. It's cheaper than a more expensive power supply. Uh, um, but yeah, t- benefit of the doubt, I, I don't know who, who the shop is. He did mention. So, I know. Uh, there could be use cases where like you need a different PSU basically, not the 450 water one. Um, but uh, still very dubious for me na <laughs> yan yung magiging advice just because he wanted to stick in six extra fans. F. Jane, J. Jain, F. Jain from YouTube asks, NTFS or FAT32, which is better for formatting drives in? Uh, this is Windows. I think actually Mac uses a different file format. Eh. Mm, di ba usually NTFS is the default? It's been a while kasi since I formatted a drive. Eh. <laughs> Parang this was an issue in 2010, 11, but now it's pretty much, especially you're talking about the desktop, huh? you're not talking about servers or whatever, NTFS, for me at least. Parang that's also the default advice in my head. Oh. RJ, Rock? Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure about if it's... um. Hmm. If it's only Windows, as you mentioned, definitely NTFS. But if you switch, let's say for your work, you switch between um, having a Windows desktop and a MacBook, I might. I think there might be issues there. From my personal experience, again, um, FAT32 worked for, let's say, an external hard drive. 
So let's say um, there are some DMG files that you need to transfer from a Mac um, OS X to Windows 10. Um, I think it won't work if you only have an NTFS drive. So that's where FAT32 comes in handy. A sort of like this bridge um, format that both Mac and Windows uh, recognizes. Right. But if it's just purely for uh, Windows, uh, NTFS. Okay. The other thing you have to watch out for FAT32 is yung file size limit. I, I remember that eh, when we started shifting to full HD videos na were 15 gigabytes in size, I couldn't transfer them to a non-NTFS drive. Uh, to, yeah, to be honest, I'm not... Uh, yung parang interface between Mac and Windows, like I just use exclusively deal with Windows, so parang I don't really have a lot of experience uh, using Mac um, stuff. Parang it's like problem na nila yan. <laughs> <laughs> Next question from Fafa, Chris. Ta- uh, this is actually um, he posted it on our YouTube at uh, on our last episode because he wasn't a- he didn't catch the last one live. So he has an Asus. Uh, 1070 graphics card. Oh, but oh, I was getting error message from my Asus 1070 8GB. Error 43. It works for a while, then after a few minutes, magre restart yung PC ko. And then pag check ko sa device manager, may yellow triangle with an exclamation mark. So he's tried uninstalling the driver, reinstalling, clean up, in, uninstall, DDU. Um, older version of the driver, pero ayo pa rin talaga. Um, Sorry, actually, when I read this question, I thought it was MOBO because there's error forty, make error code. But no, it's the, GPU. Yeah, it's the graphics. Uh, uh, error code forty-three uh, only shows up in two scenarios. One scenario is that one of the components' drivers is not communicating well with one of the hardwares, so software. Second is there is a physical hardware problem. So, mukang if he already tried doing the driver on it, um, reinstalling the drivers, mukang it might be a hardware problem, a physical thing that needs to be looked at. So, we would recommend that you go to a shop, or if you have a spare old graphics card, you insert that graphics card in, and then you see if it will work. That's the best way, eh? you troubleshoot, isolating the problem. But mukang it must be a uh, hardware problem. Take out the GPU and test it elsewhere. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, as Anton, you mentioned he already tried like DDU. Yeah. So he, everything he's, he's um attempted in fixing it was software yes. related. Yeah. So yeah, um, definitely agree with Rocky. Uh, I was smiling earlier because that that ex that happened to me. The exact code forty three. Yeah, in a ten seventy. <laughs> Ah, ah, mismo. And a pallet, oh. pallet, um, yeah. eight gig, um, dual, <laughs> dual fan, 1070. Ah, 1070. So, um, yeah, I, I tried everything he did also. So DDU, um, change drivers, try to roll back drivers, and of course, process of elimination. You take everything apart inside the PC, put it back in. But it didn't work. It didn't work again, until I kept trying, and I realized that the PCI in PCIe um cables that oh. I had, like it didn't even if it feels like it went all the way, it still didn't. So you had to just really? give it a little nudge, and then when it clicked, I was like, oh my god! So that that's when it worked. So loose lang siya the wiring. Just, yeah, it was like a millimeter or. Ah mm, oh, well, there we the go, guys. Now, what do you call it? Unplug and replug your wires. That saves on having to buy a new graphics yeah. card or going out to a shop. And actually, that's uh, one of the first things they tell you to do: reseat, uh, make sure all of the things are plugged in. So, apparently, it's part of the re- um, updating drivers or then or the hardware. Make sure it's reinst- uh, no, it's uh, properly seated and things like that. Which I think he might have, no? Because it's, There's no indication that it's an upgrade. It's hard to tell. Parang I was trying to look for context. Um, parang hindi clear. Because if ano nga, yeah, if he upgraded uh, like the bago yung 1070 niya for some reason, yeah, then yung scenario nga ni RJ is plausible, and it could be that 
he should check his power supply then. Parang aside from since we're talking about electricity, aside from reseating, baka the power supply is not giving enough power. Um so could be software, could be hardware. Um although yun nga, since you've uh, tried already a lot of the software stuff, baka subukan yung try some of the hardware solutions that were mentioned. Uh, Ernie from YouTube asks, "Bakit po nawala ang optical drives sa mga gaming cases?" And I think Marvin is a uh, <laughs> Marvin has the has personal experience on this. <laughs> so yo. Okay. <laughs> bakit bakit nawala? It's it's because of AIOs, RGBs, and everybody who wanted to take up the front the front part of the fan. Everybody who wanted to put a glass thing on the front of the case. Yeah. They said, oh, we don't need ODDs. Uh, Who installed the game? Who installed the game from a DVD or CD in like five years? So let's not use it. Let's forget everybody else who uses it. But, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, I feel strongly about it. I, <laughs> that's why I finished out from the, really? anyway, uh, oh, from, yeah, from the <laughs> live stream questions. But <yeah. laughs> in fairness, the, what they did, yung kapalit naman, I mean, maganda yung all glass front. Sorry, uh, maganda yung all mesh front. I mean, may, may trade off naman eh. And I think that came also from the the trend that people were starting to have um, better internet connections. Yeah. So um, downloads were more prevalent. Na I mean, sorry, that's a wrong term, but it was more common. So thank you, Steam. That definitely helped. Epic Epic Game Actually, Epic Game Store. Epic Games. <laughs> you know the one thing, talaga, that still hasn't had a decent replacement yet is the thumb drive. You mga USBs. Because CDs are cheap, like you know, you could get the e- burnable back, front, side A and B, <laughs> and then those were like what twenty pesos per CD. I mean, even if you have a cheap thumb drive now of, anyan mga one gigabyte, like three hundred, five hundred pesos per anyan, di ba? No, that's you can get thirty two now for like six hundred, five hundred. Oh, well, still, that's still a lot of money, especially if. Like kung student ka and you go to a comp shop and you know na mava virus right. yung USB mo. I mean, sometimes you just want to put it on a disposable thing. Eh. You know, yan, wala pang cheap na disposable uh, hard drives. I guess every I guess people are trying to just put everything along on the cloud. But so having something physical is still very handy. That's one True. thing, you know, we've lost in that transition. And for our for archival purposes, no, I, I think I saw somewhere that a good CD will last longer than a completely unused uh, flash drive. What do you call this? Flash drive. Ah, it's I didn't the cheap know that. Kind. But but I've only seen it one uh, a couple of times on the internet, so hindi ko pa siya verified. What I'm okay talaga letting go is the floppy drive, because. Uh, and RJ and I were still in college. We were still using floppy drives. Those things were the most unreliable <laughs> pieces of, you know, ever talaga. Like, I put my homework in there, and I get to school, and I, you know, so for printing, yeah, it's right I mean, you know, again, one use, yan, one use lang yan. Floppy drives suck. Yeah, so okay lang sa akin yan. Yeah, so thin. You're talking about the old ones, na the hard ones, oh, na the small yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We used to have that back in 2006. Uh, 2006, we were using those because hey, every PC had a CD-ROM drive and a floppy drive. It was still standard then. Just to I uh, don't put a cap on this question. I guess the 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 real reason why uh, some people feel strongly about CDs is because. It the the shift from PCs, whether from floppy disk or to for, to the horrendous zip disks, which were so expensive, required separate hardware, was such a deal. Uh, ano, a game changer. Parang sobrang thankful kasi sa CDs eh, di ba? And then to see it go by. Sa kahit sa buso. See it in the eye. Okay. Well, well, hold on. I'm just one last nail in the coffin about it is if you imagine uh, ito, uh, for a future context imagine if you had to install Call of Duty Warzone oh ngayon do you know how many CDs that'd be? <laughs> that'd be 10 CDs and then if you, you know for the young for the young ones who've never had to install big games ayan talagang kung nag-install yan 
it'll tell you. Please insert CD2. So yeah, and then you have to wait. <laughs> yeah, you have to wait for it to ask for the CD. I am, I'm okay with that part. I'm okay never having to go down that path ever That's again. That's true. <laughs> the worst experience they had was, I was like, oh, fear's out. You, if you guys know that. Oh, grab fear. Fear. Uh, fear. Oh, yeah. oh, cool, cool. And then check it out. It's eight CDs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, medyo nalalaman mo na yung ages ng panel na <laughs> medyo, may, oh, <laughs> medyo, nostal- na. medyo nostalgic sa mga d- made games na on CD drive pa and floppy drives for some reason. Next question from... Ah, okay, this is actually our the midpoint of the show. Okay, a bit early, I guess we can take more questions pa. But basically, may nagtatanong, uh, may balak ba akong magpatattoo? And parang I just thought this would be a cute question for the entire panel. Unless meron na pala kayo na hindi ko alam. Like, I, I think I know all of you pretty well, but... Uh, Why is Cedric assuming that Anton doesn't have tattoos? I, and uh, no, yeah, that, that's. Ano? Kinakahon mo ba si Anton? <laughs> that's the assumption there, de ba? Na yeah, you know, di mo nakita yung likod ko or something, but ano? Uh, um, actually, I I do not. Uh, wala rin ako balak magpa tattoo. Um, but I I do donate uh, blood regularly, and then if you have a tattoo, parang they don't like it, they don't let you do it anymore. So, um, I prefer to donate rather than to ano. Uh, get a tattoo, and if I got one, I also wouldn't know what to put. But probably something geeky like the N7 Star from Wars. Mass Effect or, or Star oh. Wars. Oh yeah. Or ano, yeah. <laughs> but uh, so, something geeky like that probably. Kyo, do you have? Si RJ mo na yung pasagot nila. Do I have a tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> no, wala, wala. <laughs> I've been thinking for several years, pero wala, wala ko paisip. Parang the thought of having it permanent makes me redesign the design in my head. Touch me over and over, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pero yeah, me, I, I went through a phase thinking about it, but uh, at that time when I was thinking about it, uh, syempre, uh, conservative mga titos, parang nakita na sila ng henna tattoo, parang, ay, pag may henna tattoo, pag may tattoo ka, hindi ka hire sa trabaho, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. It means you're a thug, <laughs> and ano. Uh, I mean, we're, we're not in Japan, pero, uh, but yeah, the, 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 the permanence thing is what really, is a stumbling block for me to RJ. Parang, I, I do know there's laser removal and all, pero, it's something permanent, eh, so, I'd overthink it too much. And end up getting a dot. <laughs> Actually, I don't have a tattoo either. But Anton and I have an uh, have a blood related aunt who most recently got a tattoo, and she's um in her seventies now. So yeah, she's very proud of her tattoo. <laughs> this Rahon. hello. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, oh, right, right, right. Oh, tita. Oh, right, right, right. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay. So, yeah. Maybe not now, but maybe when we're like 70 or 80 where we really don't care anymore, we'll get that too. Uh, actually, Ergo from the chat, uh, who was our first guest on uh, in the industry, says that we should get Hardware Sugar logos na tattoo. Uh, but I don't know. Because our team, natin, they keep wanting to redesign stuff. They oh, just update the look and things like that. So, we're going to get a logo and then we'll get a logo. So, it's hard. Or a razor tattoo. Yeah, but... There are some who have a tattoo of a razor. A razor? Depends if you're... A, Rocky's not a fan, eh, so... I'm not a fan. Yeah, of Razer. Oh, well, <laughs> so I, ever, I ever RJ any, and I might need to change my mouse, eh. I tried playing, what you call that, Modern Warfare, <laughs> competitively, di kaya. This, this, this is too small, mm-hmm. na. It hurts. It's it hurts smiling. my pinky. I know, but the mouse is very small. I have a big it, it, it is small, yeah. I, I wouldn't... It's very small. I, uh, hanggang RTS try, lang pwede to. Try, um... Try Glorious. They're... They're, um... Larger and they're lighter, and they're actually very cheap. Glorious. They're very affordable. Mm. Oh, okay. uh, a few I'll friends, a few friends already purchased, and even I mean, wired is... wireless wired chat. Wired, wired. So I'll switch to I'll switch to that if I want to go professional FPS. <laughs> yes, sir. Angelo from YouTube asks: Meron bang temp sensors na pwede magmonitor sa isang PSU? 
also in current load niya. Actually, the Corsair I series has this. So the I series is like, uh, para uh, it, it, it's all there on your desktop, and you can monitor the wattage. You can, pati temps ata. I I I, I think uh, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't know like any other external sensors or other ex or other PSUs na may ganun na um, ability or feature. And actually, that's the only difference. Yung mga i-series, usually yung mga high-end na titanium or nung platinum. Um, and that's the only thing really that differentiates them from the non-i-series na platinum or titanium. Yung nga, na monitor, may monitoring app dun sa desktop. Um, do you guys know of any other, like Seasonic? Does Seasonic have that or something? Di ako familiar eh. Corsair i series definitely. Corsair, I, I, I saw I came across it when, when, I was, when I was deciding to buy a new PSU. Pati pati temps no Marv? Pat kasama temps, pwedeng may monitor. Tama ba? Uh, I don't like parang huh. Wattage consumption definitely. Temps I'm... Ah there. Meron, yeah. Meron. Okay, yeah. So to answer Angelo, the Corsair i series has all of that. They're a bit pricey, but Yun nga, if you want that feature, um, it's pretty cool actually. Tina mo lang sa desktop mo, oi. Uh, my 750 watt PSU is using 400 watts lang or something. I mean, di ba parang added information. Although you can get some of that information from your GPU monitoring, uh, how many watts your GPU is using, uh, probably your CPU, but they're all separated. Ito talaga integrated lahat naka kung rekta na sa PSU. I do wonder why he's interested about uh, temperature ng PSU. I mean, I mean, more data is always better. Pero I'm curious as to why he would be uh, needing the temperature as opposed to yung uh, power consumption lang. Which, kung power consumption lang, there are other external solutions to that. Eh. Pero for the temperature talaga, it's the I-series talaga. Uh, next question from Ismael. Based on your experience, ah, so ito yung uh, thermals ng isang case. What's better for cooling, positive pressure or negative pressure? Okay, wait. I'm gonna I'm gonna start lang yeah, jump to in. define the terms, ah. Because to be honest, you know, pretend pretend na ako, like oh yeah, but I didn't know what the hell those are. So anyway, just to keep it very easy, positive pressure means sucking everything in, putting air in. Negative pressure means putting air out. So most most PC build designs use a combination of some fans going bringing air in and the other fans putting the air out. Those are called the exhaust fans. The first ones are the intake fans. So actually, Linus Tech Tips has an interesting video here where he actually had three completely identical computers and he left them running. He left them running for one year I in the seen. same spot. Uh, yeah. And one PC was completely positive pressure. So that means all the five fans were just bringing air in, but not bringing air out. The second PC was all negative, which was taking all air out, but no air, but no new air in. And the third one was a combination, which is what we everyone in the industry does, and which what we do in Hardware Sugar. Now, you have to have at least one um, exhaust fan and preferably three intake fans. Um, in short, their conclusion is the best way is a combination. You can't have both. The problem with number one, kung lahat, if everything is positive pressure, uh, you see, because when you're bringing air in, you're also not just taking air in. You're bringing in all the dust, the dog fur inside, okay? So uh, even though it sounds nice, you're going to end up clogging your PC in the long run. Now, in terms of onion, temperature-wise, um, he doesn't explain in that video if it's better, but he ends up concluding that it's always better for... Um, for just to use a balance. And the second problem naman is if you're going completely just negative pressure, now you're, you end up actually pulling air 
through places you don't want to pull air from. Because when you're trying to uh, expel, wait, now it ends up pulling, ah, when you're trying to expel all the air inside your PC, it will amount to removing all the air inside your PC, but new air gets pulled in, actually, in the end. And that the, the parts where it pulls the air in are the small gaps which aren't even part of the fans anymore. So it's you end up dirtying places which aren't really meant to be dirtied. So to summarize, two factors. One, it seems like the best is to have a combination of positive and negative, not one of each only. And second, the type of case you have has a dramatic effect also. So there's no one size fits all in this regard because some cases are built to be just more hot or hell even an in maybe you need to mix around with where to place the exterior fan and the an in, the exhaust fan and the intake fan so there that's my take on it that was pretty extensive so the only thing i would uh, i could think to add is that uh so the, the ratio that Rocky mentioned where you have more intake than outtake is ideal nga, because it produces that slightly positive pressure. So the only, but it only works if is yung intake fans mo has dust filters. So you would prefer that all your intake goes through the, the part where there are guards for the dust filters and rather yeah, than there we go. coming in from sucking it from the gap between the PSU, etc. So the crack more intake with filters um yeah i definitely agree um you guys already mentioned like the, the basics of like the positive airflow and i think my take would just be coming from my experience with let's say having a case with limited slots or <clears throat> having an aio that can't be um mounted somewhere else um, I think what plays a huge role also is placement. So you kind of if if you have if you don't have a big case with several slots and cooling is not a problem generally, um, and having let's say a, a cool CPU cooler that that um, has a lot of gives out a lot of heat. I think placement in in a way you kind of have to strategize. So you do have to put let's say more. Um, more intake at the top part of the case and then make the um exhaust at the towards the bottom and the back part so because you have to do you have to realize that um cool cool air goes down and hot air rises so with that in mind you do have to um make sure that you're expelling the hot air more strategically out especially if you have let's say i had like fx 8350 so that gave out a lot of heat especially overclocked so um yeah, with with that in mind, and you have limited slots, just make sure that you you think about where you place them. Related also to cooling, uh, Pao from YouTube asks, uh, do you think a good CPU air cooler is enough for upcoming games like Watch Dogs Legion and Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven, or should he get an AIO? Uh, my personal take on this is that AIO, uh, sorry, a uh, good air cooler is always better bang for your buck. Uh, Performance-wise, uh, pound for pound, a good air cooler will outperform a similar AIO. So if it's just really performance you're after, um, yes, in, in an air cooler is excellent. Uh, there's no, there's no need to reinvent the wheel. Maganda tingnan yung mga AIO. To, it, the aesthetics are very, very much cleaner. You know, they don't have that bulky CPU uh, radiator. You know, stuck on your CPU. But um, in terms of performance and value for money, it's really hard to beat the Noctuas. The even the Cooler Master ones are very good, also. Yeah, I agree. Hyper two one two. Yeah, the Hyper two one two. That lasted for several years. <laughs> no problem there. So yeah, you can definitely get away with um. Well, the stock cooler is very different from aftermarket. That that's even true. I yeah. Think a Hyper is I think one thousand or one one. Not sure about the, the the price nowadays, pero it it will for that price like fraction of an AIO, you can definitely um meet the same level of um, cooling. 
to just to put things in context because a lot of people are asking for PC builds from Hardware Sugar and they always ask for an AIO. The H100i Corsair, which we have now on AIO, is 10,000 pesos. The Noctua NHU12S Chromax Black is 3,950 or 4,000. So you have 4,000 pesos na Noctua air cooler and you have a 10,000 pesos na AIO. So actually, a lot of reviews have already pointed that these two actually are the same in terms of cooling. It's just that, but the price difference is 6,000 pesos. The only drawback of using the Noctua is that mas it's a little But who cares? At, at 6,000 pesos, a difference? You, what, you're, what you need to know what you're paying for. You're paying for a quieter rig and for lights. You're paying for the R- RGB lights and the neat setup. That's what you're paying for, that extra 6,000. Just so you know, ah. Because hey, you're not paying that 10,000 pesos for a really cool, like temperature wise CPU. You're paying for the looks and you actually, you know, premium looks and yung ingay. <laughs> really spend a lot for the, the noiseless issue. I think there's an entire subgenre of PC building, the ultimate silent. Uh, yeah, ultimate yeah. Oh. Stealth mode. <laughs> yeah. That that's why I mean, the brand Be Quiet chose Be Quiet because they sell fans, eh. and then they're trying to go against the the green na maingay yung fans. No, we could be quiet about it. But because even the AIO has fans, you need fans on the radiator to dispel the heat. So hindi rin siya. Uh, it, it's not a fanless um solution. That's true. That's true. But uh, yeah, so bang for your buck. Uh, I mean, it, not to rag on AIOs. They're, they're, I love them. They're, you know, they look really nice. But um, depends lang on what you need, diba? Um, ako, my personal rig uses a Noctua something. I don't even know what it is. Sobrang tagal na nun. Uh, hindi ko pa na... There, there's it's the H100. AIO. Yeah, the Corsair. Yeah, so, <laughs> Corsair yeah, AIO. I have AIO AIO. Naman siya. Yeah. Oh, but, you know, that's the... Yun nga, but that's the truth. You know, if I really wanted just the cooling part, so um to answer Paul's question, definitely a good air cooler, a good third party or aftermarket air cooler, malayo yung maka- mararating mo. A uh, question from Rafael Ismael for RJ: Are you still using a 5700 XT? If so, what driver version? Uh, were you successful? Uh, what driver version are you using para mausi mausi mo? And is that a red strat behind you? It looks really nice. What is it? <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, one, I still am using the 5700 XT. Uh, napa, My version is <laughs> 20.9.2. Actually, I don't. I haven't had much time to like tinker around with it. As long for me as it works, and um, I'm able to let's say record my my game my games. Um, to me, it it's fine. Um, I think 20.4. Or basta around April is May, April is, are the problematic drivers for me. And then towards end of April or start of June, that's when it um, f- really fixed itself. So yeah, I've been using it uh, flawlessly since then. And number two, yes, it's a red strat. Demo naman dyan! Para naman may... RJ knows how to play the guitar. I know, I know. <laughs> it's a... Uh, it's, uh, I just got it. Um, second hand. I think... Yeah, like one third the price, so good deal. Wow, good deal. <laughs> okay, uh, next question. Uh, this is actually from one of the Facebook groups, yung um, Rigs Unlimited Philippines. It's a very general internet question. Palagi po kasi kami na disconnect. Di ko po alam kung dahil sa converge yung ISP or sa router or sa modem mismo nung converge or sa LAN cord. Um, so basically, he has the the modem from the ISP, tapos may third-party router siya, and then nakakabit using LAN cables. Current setup namin, oh, yun nga, modem to router, and then uh, naka three, may tatlong computers sila sa network via physical LAN cable. Um, it's sort of hard to tell what's wrong <laughs> just based on this. Uh, but just from your experience, like general internet um, troubleshooting, because this is the traditional setup that most people have. You have the ISP router, 
connected to uh, sorry the ISP modem connected to a third party router and then that router uh, siya yung nagdi-disperse ng inf- internet sa buong bahay I guess he has to distinguish if he's disconnecting if the internet connection is the one that disconnecting or if his if the computers are disconnecting from the network built by the router That's so, a yeah that's a good that's a good uh, point yeah Minsan nangyayari yun, eh, parang one one computer is not communicating the network, but if you look at the... Buhay pa sa si internet. Lights, buhay pa sa si internet. Uh, at saka kung lahat. If yung tatlo yung, if yung, tatlo yung na-disconnect, then it it can only be the router or the modem. If isang computer yung na-disconnect, then it has to be the LAN cable. Uh, for me, actually, I, I do have Converge as an ISP at home, and... Ah, uh, ganun yung problema sa gitna nung ayun know, in the middle of randomly nasa gitna ako nung ginagamit ko yung computer ko, tapos biglang mawawala yung internet, magdi-disconnect. Um, at first the first couple of times it happened, akala ko problema ni Converge kasi tatawag ako, tapos i-reset nila yung connection on their end. But then it kept happening and I kept telling them to reset, then they were resetting it. Ayaw na talaga gumana, like wala na akong internet. It turned out to be my router. Um, I'm using the Google, the Google Pods, yung Google Wi-Fi na 3-pack. And then wala, bumigay lang. The mesh? Yeah, the mesh. They call it the mesh. Yeah, right. yeah they, it's easy to get all of them talking to each other. So basically, bumigay lang yung router ko, pero yung unang symptoms, akala ko kasalanan ni ISP, kasalanan ni Converge, but it turned out to be the hardware, the router on my end. So wala na, wala nang pag-asa. Talagang sira na yung isang pod ko na yun na Google. Wala, tinapon ko na lang. So dalawa na lang yung uh, nagagamit ko. But yung Google Pods kasi they're multitask. Eh. You can use any of them as the router and then the rest you can use as the the distribution points for the rest of the Wi-Fi. Um, yeah, so parang basic trial and error lang. You try to see what works. Um, yun nga, if the computers go down on the network pero may internet pa rin, Baka it's the router or the physical connections. Um, but yun, actually, lesson learned. Kasi ang an dali lang sisihin nung, dali lang sisihin yung ISP eh. But actually, sometimes it's it's on your end. It's, you know, it's something else. It's not the ISP. Uh, which I think happened to Liza, di ba? Parang yan yung thing niya sa Converge recently. <laughs> na, so, supposedly nagka-problema yung connection, but Converge said it was actually a router on her end when she didn't know how to use it pero mabilis tumalon si PLDT biglang oh ano we'll give you free inter ano uh, we'll connect your internet right away so super mabilis magmarket si PLDT even though oh. so, supposedly daw hindi naman kasalanan ni Converge diba parang it was a hardware issue on the customer side exacerbated the issue with her with the uh, with the rogue with employee the... hindi naman ano hindi naman yung sanction yeah. siguro yeah uh. Um, Bjorn, any you guys? I'm I'm sure you've done your own internet troubleshooting. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Over the um, years. Ako naman, my my connection's always been PLDT. No, um. Ah really? Ah oh, man, I hate <laughs> like like personally like I'll never go back to PLDT. <laughs> like <It's>, any. <laughs> uh coming from my my previous uh condo and then this one parang it's the most stable so a lot of people um do decide the man based on what works best for their um for the area building. yeah for the building uh, um let's say summer globe but some people really don't have a choice so some buildings only have globe yeah. or some yeah. some buildings are tied to just globe. right exactly so um but for my experience with PLDT, um yes there is a lot of truth into checking if your router is an issue so it could just be like, um, maybe they installed a brand new router, but it didn't. It it um started failing after a month. They can easily replace it if you co- if you can just complain. Um, sorry. If you can, I, if you sure. can even get them to answer <laughs> that easily. So young. Um, but there were times also that I had okay. We have more devices here. Uh, I did install uh, a new brand new router. Um, it worked for a time, but later on, it it um, gave more issues than um, than um, not. So when I removed that, it did help again. Um, there were more less disconnections. So um, that might not work for everyone, also. So you really do have to check if if your um, your setup, basically all your connections, wireless, wired, 
uh, works it's just straight up to one modem to a, and then if you can you can um build it from there so you can put a repeater if you just need to extend it you can buy um yeah another router if you really do need more bandwidth um to reach to other spaces but start small parang if 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 it's just you gaming and nobody else in the in your place just go straight up router wired and you won't have an issue actually that's one of my cardinal rules also for my personal rig i never use wi-fi for my desktop it's always naka lan cable because just adding wi-fi adds another layer of la latency and you know things i i, I always uh want it now wired yung desktop ko my, my thing naman about that is right now i'm wireless huh? I'm wireless because I'm in a house that then in that is still incomplete. Eh, oh, see, no make a so no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> Well, in contractor, but anyway. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I, I'm like you. Uh, I always want I've I've grown up now my my desktop is always wired in. So, this is my first time in my life talaga na I've relied on my desktop for a good 10 months na. Na walang Na hindi, na wireless. I, I didn't know that it could be this good also. But also because my setup naman at home is quite interesting. I use access points. The Ubiqu access points Ubiquiti. are... Yeah, Ubiquiti access points. They are like mini routers which are connected via LAN cable to the main router. So since the house is new, we have LAN cables all throughout the ceiling. You don't see it. And then after that, there is a Wi-Fi router in each room. So the Wi-Fi speed throughout the whole house is the same. So, I, I, you know, instead of using a Wi-Fi booster, which takes on secondhand signals through walls, everything here is first-hand Wi-Fi signal. That's, uh, that's one thing which talaga opened my eyes. Get, get an, I get an access point. Problem along with access point is the infrastructure. You need to cable wire it, especially if it's an old house. That's why you see most of these more in offices because they have the they have the ceiling stuff for it. That's one thing I must say about the contractor. You have to make this access point stuff. But I plan to wire it up eventually. Do you have you guys um tried mesh mesh routers? See, but, Anton is on mesh router. Oh, the Google. Uh, did it give? Did it give a uh, any um difference? It the, I haven't tried. The coverage improved, and they're super easy to talk. At, well, at least the Google ones, uh, they they talk to each other super easy. So it's uh, di na mahirap na magdadagdag ka na lang. Like you want extra coverage in a certain spot, it's easy to set up lang. Um, although yun nga yung beef ko sa Google, bumigay rin yung uh, isang pod nila. So I'm down to two. Actually, yung nakita ko lang recently sa internet yung Ubiquiti na Dream Machine or something that looks really nice, but it's like three hundred dollars. Oh pero pero parang ang, <laughs> pero but it's it's everything na daw in just that one simple capsule. So actually nagana pa ng supplier <laughs> na baka mas mura oh. yung uh, supplier rate. Of course, guys, a retail rate, diba? But for uh, one, for for just one, yeah. But parang the coverage is really good and then everything, all of the usual features. Pwede na rin siyang pang ano eh. Small business setup. Um, it's for home and small business. Um, actually, that's my dream router right now. Uh, but the one I'm using is Google. Uh, you know, it kind of let me down, so I'm, I'm, I'm ready to ditch it. Um, if Which I'm is surprising nicer because one. when you got those that Google mesh, you were so happy about it. You yeah, kept saying, oh, I recommend, I recommend. Yeah. I did. They were good until it failed, and then so wala na, para, yeah, ano, but you, yeah. know, you only had that for three years, lang, huh? so I mean that's still pretty quick for you to decline. Uh, you yeah, I think it's about that. three years. Um, yeah, so we're hopefully actually we're hoping that Oi. yeah. Oh, Oi, we got we got money from Chef Go. Thank you. Oh, again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, thanks for it. Yeah. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> thank, thanks, Chef Go. Uh, Chef is actually a customer of the shop. Um, he bought the whole rig from us and. He, and then I'm happy that his graphics card is working now. There was some issue with the graphics card kasi. 5700 XT ba yan? No, no. Ano, NVIDIA to. RTX 2070. Uh, hey, hey. <laughs> 2070 Super Ata yung kay Chev, if I remember correctly. Uh, Ezekiel from YouTube says na Glorious Model Zero, Sir Rafael, yung quality mouse. We actually have a review uh, of the O-negative, which is the smaller one. That's the one I ended up using. 
Uh, and I actually liked it, but except yun nga, we have big hands and we need the larger size mouse. Pero maganda nga yung Glorious. Next question. From Lala Fala. This is um from our top mistakes video. Basically, it's about SSDs. And they're like, I want to have an SSD, pero okay lang po ba yung SATA SSD instead of yung M.2? Actually, it's such a popular question that the comment right under it was the same question. Uh, okay, I want to buy an SSD, pero okay lang ba yung SATA compared sa M.2? Uh, I'm just going to jump in and say yes because all of my SSDs are SATA and they're still super fast. <laughs> I don't know who... Actually, I I think Marv and Archie are the ones who might have the M.2. Oh, I don't have. I only have a SATA SSD and SATA HDD. I have, I have one M.2. Um, to be honest, if you don't nitpick, you won't yeah. really feel that yeah. much difference. Mm -hmm. You, you, if you don't do benchmarking, um, you only go, really go that route if you lack the space or if you filled up, filled up already the um, SATA ports, the SATA slots. But yeah, to answer his question, definitely the standard still is uh, SATA, um, and I think it's. I would say it's more fail safe. Um, uh, a friend, um, Derek. So recently, mm. if you guys are watching Derek and Jamie, so um, Jamie um, wanted to up, up, upgrade her laptop from an HDD. So I think that's fifty four hundred RPM, pretty slow, uh, and uh, to an SSD. But um, they tried inserting, they got a new M.2 and they inserted it to the laptop, which had an M.2 slot. And it, for some reason, even if it was in place, and because you have to screw it, diba, yeah. to lock it in place, um, it kind of shorted itself. Mm. So there was no smell, but it looked burnt. Oh, what brand is that M.2? Um, I'll have to check again. But... So yeah, so there goes four thousand bucks, <laughs> and so they had to immediately buy at SATA, <laughs> yeah. and it worked perfectly. So yun um, cause yeah, like uh, M.2 is it's like a PCIe slot, eh, so you have to insert it in a specific slot. Yeah. As compared to SATA, it's just really um, you know, one out of what? Yeah. Yeah, one out of how many ports in your in your motherboard, so it's readily available. Who's uh, had uh, experienced a lot of hard drive problems? I can only imagine the the nightmare of having to unscrew something, taking out my or I think some M2 slots are blocked by the GPU, right? So you have to take out the GPU before you yeah. put it. So that would have added a, a layer of hell. So <laughs> SATA, 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 unless you are like a video editor editing 8K where or 4K even that would. Uh, really matter if you needed to use that as a scratch disk or something uh, sata would be enough for your purposes and sometimes uh, for instance mm -hmm. sorry go ahead yeah go ahead uh, my sata ssd is already pushing five years now maybe i think oh matagal matagal na it's my this is my first and only ssd i just realized and Aho, I, you can't go back anymore after you've yeah. tasted what it's yeah. like SSD. So I think maybe this is seven yeah. years old now. You cannot. My SSD is SATA. Right. Yeah, and I'm very happy. Like, I'm playing Call of Duty War. It, like, I just played Warzone for this call. And uh, yeah. it's uh, it, 60 frames. I have 60 frames per second ako because my monitor is capped at 60 hertz. But if I got a better monitor, it would have been... Uh, Maybe like 144 hertz, or whatever. Now, but I, I don't think the I don't feel it. And lots of people in the comment section here are saying that they also don't feel it. Uh, see any? See Dave vlogs. He's asking what the difference is between SATA M.2 and M.2 NVMe. The easiest way to explain it is the best of the best according to the market is M.2 NVMe. Second is M.2. And the third is SATA. So that is the ranking in terms of quality finish now. No. But when it comes to real world use, I cannot tell the difference at this point. And I'm picky about my games to an extent. Right. But 
HDD to SSD, definitely. Ay, oh, oh. Grabe. Light Shock. and day. Right, you know, I was telling you about my friend Jamie, right? If you uh, scroll up in the comment section, that's one of the first comments. She said, SSD is life-changing. Bye. <laughs> it, it is. I, I agree. That quantum leap from a hard drive to SSD. Because of the SSD, you never need to see the bar anymore. You and Ian, I don't know. It's a Windows 98 or XP, my ganon pa. Ang coding in, wala, wala na. This is a blink. Wala, it's just that, and that's it. In fact, sometimes it's not even, you don't even see that anymore. There's no more opening boot up anymore thanks to SSD. Right. And go back to Marvin's point. The M.2, sometimes the Mobo manufacturers they like putting the armor. They call it armor, but it's just like another layer. They need to. You, you can't access it right away, or you can't unscrew the M.2 oh, right away. Cool. Yeah, you gotta remove the armor and then unscrew the M.2. Assuming na yun nga hindi nakablock yung GPU or some other thing, yes. depending on the it's configuration. Standard. It's behind the GPU, so that's two layers. <laughs> yeah, that you got. You gotta just to get right. to. And you think it'd be easy? It's just like RAM, sana na parang plug and play nand dapat yun. Yes. But the way it's uh, set up now, yeah, it's really stuck in there. Um, uh, just a quick, um, just a quick uh, plug. We are actually releasing our next series. Um, yung sa PC series natin on how to build, uh, how to buy PC parts for beginners. Yung next topic natin is storage. So we do actually talk about the difference between SATA SSD, M.2, and NVMe. And hopefully that drops Sunday. Um, I don't know if our editor is watching, pero no pressure naman ren kung ano. <laughs> kung hindi patapos. Uh, just, that's just the plan. We can, if kung hindi patapos, we can upload it some other day. But that is the next uh, video in that series, yep, yeah, on storage. Um, John, there, yeah. we, ha we have a comment uh, actually related to this topic. What is a well priced M.2? brand and uh, based on what we're selling and that seems to be walang complaint so far is the team, team force group. yeah the team force the M team force mp34 yeah is well priced and no one has come back to complain so that's always a good thing Ooh. yeah what, what what size uh what capacity are you guys I we, sorry, we, we have 250 500 and 1 tb but the 250 for some reason is Marketed as the MP33, and then the 500 and the 1 TB are MP34. I don't know that why that is. I don't know kung older version yung MP33 or just because it's the smaller size. I, to be honest, I don't know. <laughs> like uh, yeah. the MP34 is a one terabyte M.2 NVMe ng team group is 7,800. Yung Samsung NVMe M.1 terabyte is 13,000. Medyo malaki yung difference. Oh, but can, and, uh, Samsung is the 970 Evo Pro. But that's true. So, I mean, yeah, you know, that's, that's really Evo. like the top, top, top tier, oh. yeah, top tier SSD Samsung. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there, I have no problem with the team, team group uh, MP34. I wish they would have a better naming scheme. Parang nawawala kasi yung... It seems so oh, generic. Yeah. yeah, MP34, MP33. But yeah, they do sell out quickly um, because they are well priced. It's more quality. Naman. Uh, Junkyard Summit from Facebook asks Hello, just dropping by, mga good sirs. I actually do subscribe to Junkyard Summit on YouTube. He's a good local YouTuber for you, mga. Um, marami kasing ang usong usong kabag bago yung mga parts. Talagang everybody rushes to build. But you see, Junkyard Summit. He's able to get value from major slightly older parts, and I, I really find that interesting. So, actually, matagal na akong subscriber to Junkyard on YouTube. Cool. So, yeah. thanks, thanks for dropping by. Support uh, that. Yeah, 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 diba? Parang mas mas interesting kasi yung ano ba kaya yung performance ng mga two years ago or you know two and a half years ago kaysa sa yung latest and the greatest. Uh, oh, but of course, as Hardware Sugar, we want you to buy the latest and the greatest. So. <laughs> Wag na po kayo pumunta dun sa YouTube channel ni <laughs> Junkyard Summit. Eh. <laughs> no, but uh, it, you know, depende naman sa budget, joking aside. Um, I'm not sure if uh, it, this is the same Jamie or it's Jaime de la Cruz. I love listening in on Hardware Sugar. was wondering your opinion on the Deep Cool MA Cube, the Mac Cube 310. We did actually have the 310 in white. Um, it was a popular case. Deep Cool in general is good quality um, at a very good price. The only complaint really, to be honest, we had with the 310 was na somebody complained na parang natanggal yung isang yung bar sa gilid because there's a bar there which is a bit uncommon. Um, 
for most cases. But to be honest, I don't know kung user error yun or talagang factory defect. And since Dita sa hardware sugar, we're super serious about warranty, we're like, sige, uh, send it back to us, we'll, we'll take a look. Kung talagang mukhang factory defect, we'll, we'll replace it, we'll give you a refund. But the customer, um, you know, nahasil na, didn't want to, so just kept it like that. So that is the only complaint I've heard about the 310. To be honest, I have not researched the thermals kung kamusta sila. But just in terms of aesthetic, it's a very good looking case for a very reasonable price, which is usually the modus of deep cool. Uh, actually, a related question. Jaime de la Cruz is asking if uh, ML140 is worth the upgrade from a deep cool RF120. Uh, well, these are different onion fan sizes. Uh. They are, and they're different brands. The ML is the Corsair. So the Corsair. Eh? Yeah. Oh, I would just stick with onion. The um, unless you're using it for the IQ software on Corsair, I just stick with Deep Cool. If you just care about cooling, make sure they're all the same brand. But if in, but if your problem is more of you want to have a bigger fan, always go for the 140mm if you know if you can. But I have we have no problem with the Deep Cool RGB and ARGB fan lines. In fact, now they're very handy when we're building PCs because. Sometimes, most of the time, because cases they don't have all the fan slots plugged in, so you need to have a budget option. Which is Deep Cool has these triple pack fans, na RGB or ARGB, it really solves the problem for most people who are building PCs now. Because they're so cheap, eh? they're so cheap and they seem reliable. So, oh, both of us have Deep Cool fans. I yeah, I actually did some research on what's better, 120 or 140. It's major inconclusive your research. It all came down to what's the better quality fan overall. So it's not so much the size though, but yun nga kung dano siya katatagal. Tapos ano yung how really how many RPMs the fan can do or something. Um, so hindi siya automatic na larger fan 140. Mas uh. maganda na kagad yung performance over a a better quality 120. So you know it's kind of like a gray area. Um, RJ or Marv, um, fan size speed, fan size quality. It will also depend on your case, cause uh, like some cases, uh, can take more 120 fans. And yeah. If you can find the fan, the 120 size, but the cubic feet of air it's moving is equal to the 140 you're buying. Then, if important is say yung airflow, then you can stick with the 120s. Uh, I'm not familiar with. Uh, I haven't used deep cool fans yet, uh, but yes, I did see them. They uh, they are a very for value entry into the RGB space. So, si Anton kinukulit ako na kudin ko yon when I was building my rig. Ah, talaga ni kalimutan. Yeah. Was, <laughs> was I foisting that We're on you na? <laughs> <laughs> Go so bro, okay. RJ has ano? RJ has deep cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh. But, but my case came with. Uh, one exhaust, one intake, and my old case had an extra intake fan. Na, so I was full up on fans already. Oh, oh pero hindi yun RGB. Uh. Kailangan, kailangan RGB. Oh. Sur- surprisingly, the, the wife is more attached to the RGB than, <laughs> than I, I you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, our, sorry, our editor does say na malapit na mat- matapos yung editing dun sa memory storage video. Pero no, no rush naman. <laughs> I, it's not like I'm forcing you to work on a Friday night. Huh? <laughs> no, yeah, no pressure. Uh, next question from Kyle. Paano po ayusin kapag palaging nasisira ang LAN cable? So a very, another very generic question. Um, if you guys have an answer. What? Oh, I have so I have more questions than him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Paano nasira? <laughs> Bakit? This, this is like the RJ45 or napuputo lang yung cable. Or ah, that's a good point, yeah. Pattern. Is it the head? Is it like the middle right. of the cable? Yeah. Well, I would assume he's just um, talking about it, I guess, dying out. But for me, that, I don't think that's ever happened. It's me ever also, happened. yeah. They survive for forever, basically, until you either lose it from no, transfer. No. I, I've, I've had this problem before. Oh. Uh, but it required crimping. So uh, the land. The onion. I've never had a problem that the cable ha- can never not be fixed. But a loose cable with the wires at the end where the head is loose. Now I had to 
reposition the LAN cable in weird ways ah, yeah, so to, that to get the connection. PC would register. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Kasi, you know if the LAN cable is connected if the MOBO will light up green. Yeah, yeah. Sa likod. Right. And if it's not, even though it's plugged in, there's something wrong. And man, I think I spent like good two years of my life. Wala. Right. Ah, okay, ganun dapat. Dapat it sounds like the so clip, ka. your clip isn't there anymore. So yeah. So still fasten it. I don't know. It was fastened. It was still fastened. Kaso lang, I don't know. I think the wires inside the head okay. were moved already. So wala. The next best solution is to snip it off and then use a crimper. You need to get the two. You can get a crimper off Lazada for like 200 pesos. I actually bought one recently. And you can also buy the LAN cable heads uh, also on the Zada for like 20 pesos per piece. So if ever you need to, you can just get everything on the Zada or Shopee. So stay safe. No need to go to True Value for it. And there are a lot of YouTube videos on how to crimp the cable. So, yeah. Pero mahirap ba? I keep hearing about this crimper, but I've never seen you actually crimp one. Ano, ano, ba because ka? when I was going to crimp it, oh. apparently pala, uh, Wala, it's just there's no long story short I can't find the cable to begin with to start uh, uh, crimping uh, uh, I thought the cable was just sa likod ng wall kasi yun nga in unfi- unfinished pa yung bahay pero when I opened the latch wala pa lang cable so there's nothing to crimp I would have experimented nga pero yun nga wala eh but I was ready I already watched four YouTube videos on how to crimp you know it's fun it looks cool uh, oh but I'm ready now I have the tools sige Oh, yun, send mo on ton. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll borrow it from you. Ah, sige, sige, Marv. Just let me know. <laughs> uh, so, the, to answer Kyle, you know, it's really, uh, it's hard to tell, but maybe the head is the most likely source of failure. If it's just really the cable, oh, nga, I've never experienced it na, like, na, na sisira. Unless physically cut, di ba? Yun. Oh. Uh, no. Actually, uh, sorry. Uh, oh, go ahead, Rafi. Sorry. Well, actually, because uh, one thing I remember uh, is depending on where his land cable is, if it's built into the house, baka a rat ate it. Because mm. okay? you don't know it. You yeah. need to see. You need to check if the. You need to see physically how the land cable looks like on the other end, or in between. Ayan. So come. Because yeah, rats are known to chew up electrical wires. So that's something to think about. Ang, I just found it interesting how we phrased the question. Palaging nasisira. It happens uh, once. Uh, uh, it could be wear and tear. Pero kung pinayos na niya, then nasira ulit. Uh, baka hindi nasisira. May sumisira. So, you might want to check. Uh, you might want to check ka if may tao dyan sa bahay mo o sa buhay mo na inis na inis na computer ka ng computer. <laughs> I, I, I love the progression in this question. Uh, may close textual analysis. Palaging nasisira. And then may assumptions na based on that. Uh, fairness. O nga, ma, o nga naman. <laughs> so you, you think about your life, Kyle. May, may ano ba? <laughs> baka, <laughs> baka may nagsasabotahe sa internet mo. <laughs> Next question from Cynthia. Um, ano pong epekto kapag dalawang RAM stick magkaiba ang gigabyte, so the size, and yung megahertz? Um... I think we've answered this question before, but I think RJ is usually our go-to guy. <laughs> Parang I've, RJ has answered this like five times na ata. <laughs> uh, so the question is, well, what he should lean towards? Uh, selecting... Parang is it okay? Uh, uh, what's the effect if you have two RAM sticks of different sizes and different speeds? Oh, different. Yeah, so um, again, you, that will definitely... Well, it won't always work, but um, usually they do. So having different brands or different, let's say you just had a failed wrap, your one of your sticks failed and you had to buy, go out and buy one, and then they are different speeds and um uh, or sizes. Uh, they will still work, especially if their timings are the same. So if um let's say they're fifteen, 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 thirty-eight at the back of the um box, um they will they will the chances of them working together are much higher. And um, in terms of speed, whichever is the lowest will be the the benchmark or the um, the basis for 
for them both running together. So if you have a 2133 and a 2666 um, speed um, set of sticks, and when you run them together, they're both going to be at 2133. So it just defaults to the slower speed. Right. Yeah. And yes, um, there is no issue. Sorry. So his other question was about size. Mm. So um, having two different sizes from two different sticks uh, won't matter. So I remember when helping out Rocky like more than a decade ago, he had one 4 gig and one 8 gig. And yeah, 12 gig work as long as you have a 64-bit um, Windows 10 or wind latest Windows. Um, it can go above... Um, it can go above four gigabyte um the cap of Windows as of thirty two bit. Test case pala yung PC ko dati. <laughs> no. <laughs> Gagana pa to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh we'll, uh, it's okay. It's uh and... it's the periodical and the video okay. loss. Yeah, I, th I thought uh, I, I th man, I thought I saw this na. Uh, it usually happens at this around this time. So get on, I'll I'll answer a question from the crowd. Uh, there's some wait. I highlighted it. Uh, See, just my camera. Dave Dave vlogs asked um, cat six, cat seven, or cat eight cable. I actually researched on this. This question is more for are you building a house and then you want to put the cables in. Because if you're building a house and you're putting the cables in, you might as well. You need to talk about costing. Because if it's just from, if it's just four meters long, just get the Cat Eight cable. It's the fastest. It's future proofing. But to be honest, all Cat Six, Cat Seven, Cat Eight cables, you won't feel the internet speed that they're advertising. Uh, we're not at that range yet where we can reach the speeds that cat 8 desires there's no way you can reach the you get the feel and especially when you're building a new house you need to talk, you need to think about the costing for each cable cat 6 is the cheapest but imagine if you're going to try to land cable one room to the other or it's in the ceiling or whatever it's all about how much of it you need there so, oh, I would go with Cat Six if you want to save the money, and you won't feel the difference anyway. Right, I I agree. You, um, from a from personal experience, um, everyday usage, just your normal day tasks on, on your PC or gaming, you won't feel a thing, um, between all of these um types of cables. um land cables, and but yes, to add to what Rocky mentioned, uh, you. You, it's something you think about when you're designing a house or when you're building a house or um, renovating. Also goes, let's say, even more so for like, let's say, uh, offices or larger spaces. Oh, yeah. Totally. That's that's when the 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 distance of of these cables will will matter more. So let's say it's more than 100 meters. Yes, you might start feeling. Only then will you really start feeling um some kind of um latency or Degradation. Um, yeah, exactly. But again, that's if you do have this to, the speeds to match it. So we're yeah, we're we're still very far. Um, in terms of let's say consumer level, if it's just in your room, five meters is fine. Just go out to any um shop and just take the the cheapest one. The Borbs from YouTube asks, is it okay to use a Kraken M twenty two? The M22, uh, that's an NZXT AIO, and the RAD is 120mm. Ako personally, I recommend to all our customers na if it's just a 120mm RAD, regardless kung anong brand yan, anong, AI, uh, anong brand ng AIO, it, it's, the cooling is really not so good with the 120mm RAD. At least minimum if you're going AIO, mag 240 RAD ka na lang. Um, and depende yun sa case. Paminsan, di talaga kasha sa case, gusto mag AIO. Walang problema naman yun. I mean, yun nga, personal choice. But just in terms of performance, and you only have space for a 120mm rad, I would just really go with a good air cooler rather than uh, rather than a 120mm rad. And that's regardless kung M22 ba yan or may deep cool uh, L120, I think is what they call the, or one of their AIOs na 120. Parang the performance just really isn't there for a 120mm rad. Um, but if you guys maybe have better experience with using AIO na 120mm lang yung rad? Mm, 
for me, I no putting in. I got this from you. Um, oh yeah, sorry, you do have a Kraken. Yeah, right. Yeah. This is X fifty two or M. Ah, that's two forty yeah, now. Is it is it no, the one twenty one twenty? It does work wonders. Um, I I was able to well, of course, it's a mix and match. It's what you do with your let's say overclocking, underclocking. But off off the off the bat, I think it brought it down by at least fifteen degrees coming from stock. So that's a big mm. difference. Alakim bagay yun, eh? Fifteen degrees Celsius. Yeah, with what? Thirty six hundred series. So I sorry, thirty three thousand series. So I'm running the thirty six hundred. Um, yeah. Um, on idle it was at forty five when I just um when I just got it, and then now it's running around thirty. 30 idle but yes that that again is dependent on the man on the let's say if you have ac on or if it's nearby but if if your room's a bit hotter on the hotter side it might um vary differently although at least may clear performance gain naman pala from the stock from a stock cooler. yes, yes. yeah hmm. okay um rafael or marv no AIO experience on my end. <laughs> Ako purely ther- uh, theoretical lang, chaka based on customers. Kasi yung, yung rig ko din, uh, noktua air cooler na sobrang dumana. Uh, actually, uh, we had a question about that this very thing this morning. And then it was a. He was asking me to compare between three AIOs. And apparently. Uh, I don't have any personal experience, but the thermal take AIOs now are pretty good and they're cheap. So ah yeah, the TT you... the TT AIOs. Oh, oh, according to an Australian YouTube reviewer who I was researching from, according to his an interview. Is that the bald guy? Experience. Yes, the bald guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I've seen some of his, uh, I've seen some of his videos. But uh, yeah, he said no, uh, it's it's a good budget, it's a good budget AIO now. But uh, yun nga. I, I'm with you that I'm a believer in air cooling, even if I don't, mo. Use, oh. <laughs> I don't use it. Oh. <laughs> Cooler mo kayo well, na eh. I, 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 kasi I only researched about this I mean, recently. Lang, I built this PC a year ago. <laughs> okay, next question. Actually, we're about to wrap up now. I think this is the last uh, rigid question. Lahat ba ng may mini PCIe slot pwede gamitin ng GPU dock? para makapag external GPU. May portable PC kasi ako yung Dell 9910 US US FF na may mini PCIe slot. Dami ko nakikita sa YouTube na laptop na nilalagyan ng external GPU using GPU dock connected to mini PCIe slot. So parang it's theoretically possible but they're asking specifically for their laptop itong Dell 9010. Um, and you know, I again, I have very little experience with laptops and zero experience with external GPUs. Um, anybody? Just on the initial side, it, it's a no. It's it's a portable PC. It's it's closer to a NUC than a mm, laptop. Than a laptop. Mm. Which actually, yung yung first advice ko is not really computer related. But uh, if he has that computer, I have to ask is is it your computer or <laughs> does your company own it and you have it for a work from home scheme? Uh, because if it is not your computer, then I would really not advise you to tinker with that. Like, because I did see the videos you were talking about, uh, uh, mini PCIe. Uh, it looks safe, pero I I wouldn't risk my job over it. Yeah, lang. Uh, but again, I could be wrong. It, you you could be you could have a a Dell. You could have that Dell PC uh, for a completely other reason. And for that, if that's the case, I I apologize for assuming. But but is that a fireable offense? Because he tried to install a non-compatible component on a work PC, or it depends on the company. It's hardware, na You're you're messing with you're, the hardware, na With some with the property of the of your employer. And then your excuse would be uh because I wanted to be <laughs> 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 I'm sure I love where this is going and yeah, yeah. Blo- <laughs> lawyers so. yeah. no yeah that's why I'm, I'm trying to like see Marvin ano? Marvin is very well versed uh, for those who don't know Marvin is very well versed in this field so actually I'm curious nga, fire, fireable offense na ba yan? eh 
you know, you're at home and you've been working for 12 hours. You need a break, man. I mean, gusto niya dagdagan ng external GPU, di ba? Noted, Marvin. Noted. 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 Um, well, it's uh, from a hardware point. You know, I, I really could not say. Um, and then, but please do take uh, note of Marvin's um, uh, insight that um, even if it's possible, you might not want to do it. <laughs> I, I think uh, it definitely if he just checks the or if we check the yeah the site. So if it's supported and how to connect the PCIe. Um, I think that will answer his question. If it's supported, it might be the the model, or maybe he has to buy uh, another cable. Uh, no, the 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 computer is talking about that model does have a mini PCIe slot, and usually, naman yung mga yung mga GPU dock, diba? You can buy variants, whether it's yes. uh, mini PCIe or ang daming bagong protocols na hindi ko nakabisan. Thunderbolt. Uh, well, the Thunderbolt is parang ano yun, eh, yun yung mas high-end GPU na talaga Intel for external GPU. The, the things that here he's talking about is para lang siya talagang uh, Ridge lang na cable yeah, lang. It's like, oh. yeah. Uh, may PCIe, PCIe connector. So, if it was your own rig, I'd say expo- experiment because it looks Go physically it. possible. Actually, we have a uh, if marami nagtatanong sa Facebook namin like yung nga may mga stock silang computer, yung mga pre-built, yung mga OEM builds and actually it drives me up the wall personally kasi ang hirap i-research kasi yeah. y- yung mga pre-built na yan o oh, ang ang daming mga variants as nagbabago lang isang letter, isang number. So you're trying to see if compatible ba to? Can we stick in just like regular RAM or they, they want to put in a GPU? Just a regular GPU. And it's so hard to figure out, like, ano pa talaga yung clearance nung case na yun? Kasi, yun nga, pre-built, so it's not like, you, it, it's not like you can look up the case lang online and, ah, ito, very, ma- m- klaro to, deep cool, ano, uh, Matrex 55, ito yung mga clearance niya, parang ganun. But these pre-built um, systems, they're, they're, a, they're a bit like a black box. They're really hard to figure out ano yung pwede. And ako, I don't know, usually si Rafael nag sumasagot sa Facebook, but kung ako yung naka-chempo doon, Basically, sinasabi ko, I honestly really do not know. I tried to look for it on Google, but it, uh, like 9 out of 10 times, it's really hard to pin down the exact model number. At the most, you get like driver updates, but yung actual hardware na nandun, so hard to figure out what's the motherboard there, what's the CPU, kung whatever. Um, so, aside from the legal issues maybe of a tinkering around with your uh, employer's hardware, at the same time, bibili ka ng hardware tapos hindi mo pala ma-install, um, it's really hard for us to recommend based just on that kasi wala rin kaming alam masyado sa mga pre-built na yan, yung mga OEM builds. And, and if he's wondering if the computer, if the employer will find out, yes, they will find out. <laughs> your computer is the biggest niche in the world. It will tell your employer everything you're doing on it. So, <laughs> Aso ah, may monitoring. Usually, I mean, SOP na yun, may monitoring software na nakalagay sa mga computer. It's, it's built in. It, uh, ah, it's, computer it's, is built in. It's there na it. talaga. Uh, damn. You know, we should uh, monitor Gerald's ano, computer at the shop. What <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay, so actually, we still have a couple more questions. Um, but this is like a thank you, Pandesal, for we answered the question of last um, episode. That was a question regarding is there a rule of thumb when I'm building a computer, like 50% should go to the GPU and things like that. In particular, he says thank you to Marvin, whose answer was very straightforward. So, thumbs up. Um, it's easy to answer because Rocky set the, the premise eh, para, of how to uh, approach. What's the, ah. what's the in depth rule? Once you have the in depth rule, then you can do the. Rule of thumb, which was pick the get the GPU and CPU, and then everything else follows afterwards. And then this next one is actually si Rafael yung sumagot, and then I have no idea what this was about. But yung sobrang thankful nung it's not even a customer kasi hindi naman siya bumili sa amin yung inquiry. Oh my God, thank you so much. I tried transferring my files all to hard drive and remain my programs in SSD. So ginawa, ginawa lang data drive yung hard drive, and after that, I had a lot of storage, and now it is working properly. Thank you for your professional opinion. And to be honest, I have no idea what the problem here was. Um, uh, yun nga, but si Rafael yung sumagot, and apparently the inquiry was very happy with the answer. 
Apparently. Oh wow! I did a I did a lot of good. I'm trying to read now. What what what? what yeah. Di ko malala. Di ko malala the exact issue. If it helped, uh, you're welcome. Change someone's life, Rock. Okay. <laughs> Pro- professional opinion. Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, and this last one actually is my my bad. Um, this one he's actually a customer of ours. He bought a rig, and then he's like, uh, he bought a Corsair rig, and he's like, I I wanna add a fan. So ako without thinking, sige, we have the QL120, just buy that. Because I'm a little confused. I'm the Corsair cases ngayon, may Corsair Lightning Node, or sorry, the Commander Pro, which you know, basically, kabit mo lang jan, kabit mo yan sa you sa motherboard, okay nyan lahat. But then, to my horror, after the customer had bought the QL120, tininan ko yung specs mismo ni Corsair. Sabi ni Corsair, don't plug different types of fans into the Cor- uh, Corsair Lighting Node Pro. Eh, yung kasama dun sa case, SP120 Pro. Tapos yung pinabili ko sa kanya, QL120. So sabi ko, it's really my bad. If you send back the fan to us, we'll refund you. It's our fault. Pero sabi niya, actually, gumagana naman. Hindi <laughs> ko naman sinasabing, cor- sinasabing nitong Corsair na to, pero plinag in naman niya dun sa Lighting Node Pro na kasama sa case. So may SP120s, may QL120. Gumana naman. His only problem was, where does, where does he plug it in to get power? Plinag in nga niya dun sa header that was meant for the pump fan, which is uh, what I talked about at the start of the video. Na pwede naman. And yun, everything works properly. Um, so I just want to highlight, number one, that Uh, yeah, uh, I'm a dumbass. You know, I I do mistake. I do make mistakes all the time. Uh, but number two, when I do make mistakes or the shop makes makes mistakes, we do. You know, we're very upfront. We made a mistake. We we'll refund you. That's our bad. Um, and number three, sometimes it's just really hard to understand this PC stuff. I mean, like itong si Corsair, kulit eh. Sabi niya, di naman, uh, don't don't mix fans. But apparently, you can mix fans. So ayon. Um, I just wanted to highlight that question because there was like multiple, like our bad. But we responded to the R bad. Pero bad rin ni Corsair kasi hindi naman accurate yung advice niya. So, I mean, PC, <laughs> PC building is hard, man. I mean, you know, um, we, we try to learn as much as possible. But really, there's a lot of stuff going on with a lot of different brands. So, it's really learning as we go. Um, and it will, it will always keep learning. There's always some new, some new gadgets, some new hardware that's, you know, on the horizon. Like, itong leche yung mga bagong... Uh, Ryzen 5000 series. Now I need to memorize again. Any more compatible the motherboards and things like that. So you know things are always changing, and we're always learning. But our promise to the customer is that when we screw up, we won't hide it, and we're very upfront about it. Um, ayon. Uh, on that note, um, we'll just get through some of the stuff I saved from Facebook. Like, uh, sorry, from the live chat. Like Barney Stinson from YouTube, I think. Says, just want to say that Hardware Sugar is perhaps the best local computer-related channel we have right now. A very helpful source of information for beginners. Thanks so much, Barney. Um, and yun nga, but take everything we say with a grain of salt. Grain of salt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're also still learning. Uh, I just want to end with... Um, uh, J. Kyle says, if Hardware Sugar notices me, I'm un- uninstalling my Valorant. I uninstall mo na We noticed you. <laughs> it, 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 it's on YouTube. It's on Facebook. It, this is live, so it's no, oh, no going back. Because it's RJ, it's Marvin. I'm playing no Valorant. Eh. I'm personally, I've never tried. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, I just end with this question from Chino. Are you guys preparing for the new game Cyberpunk 2077? Um, so. Actually, Marvin and I have discussed this offline, <laughs> but uh, let's go around like RJ, Marvin, then Rafael, then or uh, me, then Rafa- uh, Rafael. Last word. Well, yeah, I don't. Well, I um in terms of preparation, I'm not much. I did upgrade my um GPU, a, well earlier part of this year, and then um went back to mid range now, 57. Uh, sorry, um 3600x, uh, and then B550 from you guys, um. But yeah, I'm really prepared. But um, they pushed it back. I th- I remember it was supposed to be September, but now thankfully it's near release date. November. I think I pre-ordered oh, okay. that far around. <laughs> it, <laughs> it, is it November now? Can I buy the official ano, release? Yeah. Uh, I think it's November. Is it Cyber oh, release? Uh. Let 
November. T- it only says November 2020. November. <laughs> November 2020. So at uh, 45 days maximum from today. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, 18. If you go straight to Steam. November 18. Cyberpunk drops. So RJ, RJ is prepared, uh, Marv? Here's my problem. So I have an RX 480, and I did say that uh, I wouldn't upgrade it until it died. Pero it's still hanging uh, on. Then, it just won't die. It, it won't <laughs> die. Parang, <laughs> even though, parang I think it's it's ano, parang, it's due for a reapplication of thermal paste. Pero for my purposes, it's still working. Eh. And so, but I did take a look uh, on how an RX 480 would deal with uh, cyberpunk. The problem is I'm I'm getting dif- differing viewpoints. Some people say that even at 1080 at high settings, the 480 would be only be doing sub 30 FPS. Sub 30 Ooh. FPS is not so nice anymore. I mean, oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry sorry. People are muted. Di pa tayo off air. I did that though. Parang I, I am confident that CC, uh, the developers uh, are the same as Witcher 3. And Witcher 3 was really well optimized. Coded, that mm. optimized. Na, I first played it at, uh, at my 10 year old PC. It was running at uh, uh, near 60 FPS at moderately high settings, as long as it's AA. So I would expect that it's going Cyberpunk. But it's tempting, eh? It's tempting. So, uh, g- guys, sorry, I, I, I might, uh, I might ask Anton to set aside uh, a thirty, first batch thir- thirty, yeah, no? yeah. When, when we finally <laughs> get one, uh, <laughs> send you the thirty eighties, thirty nineties, thirty seventies. Ako for me, uh, what you got? My PC is old, also. I think uh, RX four seventy pata or four sixty, but they're cross fired. But I. Yeah, I haven't really looked into the specs for Cyberpunk, but I, I think because I, I don't, di ko naman pre order. I think I can hold on until like a Steam sale or something. Na medyo makamura konte, and I do want to upgrade maybe by early next year. Um, so but at the same time, like I finally played Witcher Three after years of having people tell me, oh, sobrang ganda nito, you should play it. Like from different people, ah, like different people, uh, from different groups, like you know, just bring up Witcher Three. Like yeah, it's it's really it's a really good game. So I'm I'm super excited for Project Red, uh, the the latest from Project Red in Cyberpunk. But um, I don't know. I think I can wait a little bit more, like para makamura sa <laughs> makamura sa Steam sale or something, and also para baka mas magaling na yung hardware ko when I finally get around to playing it and seeing Keanu Reeves in a uh, full digitized <laughs> ano splendor. <laughs> and, Ako naman. Ah yeah, sorry. Actually, I was just gonna intro you na basically Rafael can just play it right now. Like if it drops right now, he can just go and sure. put it, crank that, it up to high, <laughs> no problem. That's that's true. I have the rig to play it. But you know, I only found out about Cyberpunk I mean, last month. Like, I didn't even know. <laughs> kasi, but every kasi and then I was mod. Ch- Oh, <laughs> yeah. and I, yeah, because someone modded and sent it to us. And I, I thought it was an end. Um a shout out to Blade Runner. I was like, oh yeah, okay too. But apparently it's a game. He, he was actually and then after that, he was in the stream Kanina, si Ronel Castro. He was uh, Ah Sir Ronel Castro. Yeah. Ah uh, yep. shout out. Shout out. But yeah, but like um I, 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 I YouTube the game and I was like, "Oi, the people have been waiting years pala for this game. I didn't even know it existed. So uh, I don't know. I guess I'm getting old now. I don't know how to say. It. Uh, and so anyway, and so I tried to. I so yesterday I tried to psych myself out. I tried to. I watched all the previews, the uh, trailers. Oh, Keanu Reeves is there. And you know, I, I'm not getting the same kind of oh gotta get this game like as opposed to gta 6 I, I might get like if gta 6 came out tomorrow i'd get it this is gta I, I grew up playing gta so i played gta 3 4 all the way up amen, ADA, amen. Mm-hmm. but uh, i don't know i don't know if i'm sold yet on cyberpunk but by just by but by the way cyberpunk is going to have a multiplayer ah, aspect to it but release is 2022 so it's a game <laughs> It's a game that you that they're going to give new content for over the long term. So what's gonna come out this year is just the campaign. Uh, I don't know how important the multiplayer part is, but 
yun nga, uh, they're playing, you know, they're thinking headlong. Ako, I, I haven't, I've only played three hours of Red Dead Redemption 2, and I heard it's supposed to be a great game. So, I might as well, you know, finish that before I put top dollar again na naman on, an, on another game I can't play all the way. I like finishing games, eh. So, itong Witcher 3, I haven't also played that. So, wow, you guys keep talking oh. about it. Tapos, feeling ko, sobrang mura na yun ngayon, di ba? Yeah, you can get the game of the year with all of the expansions. Um, right. Yeah. And yeah, the, I see, there we go. Oh. And, 2022 yung multiplayer, Anton. Let's get it mid-2021. <laughs> Finish it. Finish it. And then, uh, we're ready uh, for 2022. For yeah. multiplayer. Uh, pwede, pwede. Man. I, I can wait. I can wait another <laughs> six, eight months <laughs> for, ano, for Cyberpunk. However, one thing about the multiplayer is that there is, interestingly, here's some in uh, game politics. Uh, who's the publisher of the game? EA, ba? Uh, uh, good. Wait. They're the, the de- they're the developer. I don't know who's publishing it. The developer came out and said there will be no in-game purchases. Because it's a bad idea. However, mm. the publisher said, wait, that's not entirely correct. Baka meron. <laughs> pero we don't want to say. So you, so there's this conflict na, you know, yeah, oh publisher always wants to get money in. But the in-game buying content might be in the multiplayer area and not in right. the campaign. I was going to say that add multiplayer for thirty nine ninety nine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we gotta get those microtransactions, yo. We gotta we gotta make our yeah. money back. Yeah. Um on that note, thanks for watching. I'll just plug the next episodes. Um our next show is on Sunday in, in the industry where we talk with uh, truly immortal. They're an esports um I don't know what to call them. Are they an esports agency? Basically they have a bunch of streamers that they all get together. They're a group um, and they, they rep the streamers. So I'm super interested to hear about the business model. Um, are they like FaZe Clan um, in the States? Is that the model? So I'm very interested uh, to talk with those guys on Sunday. And then the rest of the... Ah, yeah, then October, the next Sunday, October 25, I think it is, is um, in the shop. Is it? Yeah, 25. Uh, in the shop, so we'll be live from Hardware Sugar, and we're just gonna talk about. We do that once a month, where we we're we're live from the shop, and we talk about like the new stock that we've got and um, what's cool and some funny. Only borrows my headset. Ah, yeah, because I, I need. Is it wireless? Yeah, this one is wired. Um, so I need a wireless thing to run around the shop, and we just talk about like funny warranty stories and things like that. So that's from that's the shop on October twenty five. And Pwede Magtanong comes back October 30, two weeks from now. Uh, next Friday, next, next Friday, same time, 9.30. Um, and that's it. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. Um, I do want to tease that Hardware Sugar is uh, getting a bunch of new hardware from a major, uh, major brand. And we'll hope to start reviewing that or... Reviewing those items, there's a whole bunch of items we're crossing our fingers, um, but it looks to be a good haul. And hopefully in the coming weeks, you'll see like teasers on the Facebook and you'll see like reviews on YouTube. So thanks for watching. Stay safe. Good night. Have a good weekend. Peace. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys. Have a good night.